A Carmichael woman is due in court tomorrow. To face charges, she embezzled more than $100,000 from a PTA and two children's baseball teams. She served as treasurer. New tonight, Little League parents are speaking out for the first time on the impact of the kids. CBS 13 Steve Large is live downtown Sacramento with their frustration. Steve? Yeah, and I'm live at the Sacramento County Courthouse where this woman will be facing a judge tomorrow. She'll also be facing some of these Little League parents who want to be at this arraignment to see her too. There you go. Whoa. Mom, Trisha Cumbra may be handing out treats this holiday night, but she feels like her son's baseball team has been tricked. Over $50,000 was taken from Carmichael Little League. Cumbra, now the league secretary, is faced with budgeting without the $52,320. It's not new dirt, not having the appropriate tools to cut or mark, and having old catcher's equipment, and our volunteer umpires have older equipment as well. The DA says the kids in the Carmichael League were allegedly dealt a curveball by the league treasurer, Jennifer Haymart, now under arrest, facing felony charges for embezzlement. I'm curious why she did it and what she did with all that money. Besides the Carmichael Little League, the Sacramento DA alleges Haymart also stole a few hundred more from the Orangevale Jacks Titans Baseball Club and $85,000 from the Detterding Elementary School Parent Teacher Organization. And it was hard for us to just comprehend the fact that somebody could literally steal from children, from their own children, somebody that was a volunteer here. Haymart lives in this home in Carmichael. A man inside answered the door. Any comment at all on Jennifer Haymart's arrest? He declined to answer any questions. Allegations of stealing tens of thousands of dollars from three separate nonprofits for children. We have bills to pay, and we can't pay these bills right now. And that's been really hard. Now investigators say they have the evidence. This former treasurer used money meant for kids as her personal piggy bank. And tonight, a judge has denied Haymart any bail because of the seriousness of the allegations. She's due in court tomorrow afternoon at 1.30. More to come on this. Steve Large, live in Sacramento for us. Steve, thank you.